Hey, all right, in this video, what I'm gonna do is show you how to host a Shopify website on a subdomain of a domain that you're hosting on your own private hosting. Uh, when you sign up with Shopify, they want you to forward your uh, domain to them and they host it all and they host your site, which is all right, but I want to do it separately. So I forwarded the domain servers to my host and I've already created a subdomain and here you can see is the root domain, furryfreshness.com. This is just a WordPress site here. And if you go to shop.furryfreshness.com, this is the subdomain. Here is my Shopify site hosted on my subdomain. Uh, I looked through all the tutorials on there. I looked through YouTube. I couldn't find anyone explaining how to do this. So I wanted to make this for you after I figured it out. So first thing you want to do is go into your cPanel of your root domain on your host. And here we are. And if you don't have a subdomain already, what you want to do is come all the way down here to subdomains in the domain section of the cPanel. And now what you're going to get is this box up here. And basically what you do is you select the root domain. So the last one was Furry Freshness. This one we're just using Ralph Daly. And we're going to set the subdomain to whatever we want to be. So the Furry Freshness, I set this to be shop. But for this one, we can do fun facts and then dot Ralph Daly. And this will auto fill itself. And all you need to do is select create. And now that we have the subdomain set up, what you want to do is come down here to the advanced DNS zone editor and you just need to select your root domain so this one will do free freshness and what you want to do is scroll down here to the bottom and you will see all of these things down here these records and what you want to look for is the www.yoursubdomain.yourrootdomain.com and you want to look for your subdomain.rootdomain.com so there's these two right here these are the two we need to edit so all you need to do this is the one with the www dot on it you want to hit, just hit edit on the record and it should be set to an A record with probably your IP for your host. What you want to do is change this to a C name alias. You leave the name as, it's, as it normally is. So that's the www.shop.furryfreshness.com or whatever you set the subdomain to. And you change the C name to the name Shopify gives you uh, when you, they tell you to set up your hosting. So basically what it generally is is your store.myshopify.com. So this one is furryfreshness.myshopify.com. And you again, you want to make sure this is C name. You leave this to whatever this is at right now. Mine was at 14400. And then you hit edit record. Lastly, what you want to do is come down to the non www dot version. So this is shop.freefreshness.com and just hit edit. This again should already be set to shop.freefreshness.com, the TTL, leave whatever. And it should already be an A record with the IP for your host. What you want to change is this to the IP address of Shopify's host, which they also give you in the same section where they tell you how to host your um, own domain. And you hit edit record. And lastly, what you want to do is come into your Shopify back, uh, your dashboard here, and you want to hit settings. And then scroll here down to domains. And you want to select your primary domain of as your new subdomain. And you can see it down here. Uh, all day yesterday, it said action required, although the site was up. So it may not uh, uh, populate right away, but the site should still work. And one thing you want to test before you can go check the site to see if it's live, but you may need to clear your uh, web browser's cache, is what I had to do yesterday. So to do that, you just go to preferences, um, advanced network. Here you go, advanced network. And you just want to hit this clear now box right here for all your web cache and then reload and you should have your uh, Shopify site now hosted on your subdomain and then everything else in Shopify to build out the site is uh, exactly the same as normal. So I hope that helps. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. But um, thanks for watching this video. And again, I hope that helped.